Who was Walter Hunt and what did he do? Well, I'm glad you asked. Actually, Walter Hunt was an inventor living in New York City back in the 1800s, but he wasn't a very successful inventor. He lost so much money that by the year 1825, he was broke. So he went to a money lender and he said, could I borrow some money so that I can buy food to feed my family? The money lender said, yes, but you must pay me back by this date. And he wrote a date on a piece of paper. When that date came around, unfortunately, Walter Hunt still hadn't invented anything worthwhile and so he couldn't pay back his debt. But fortunately for him, the moneylender was a kind man. In fact, he was so kind that when somebody had a debt that they couldn't repay, he would say to them, if they're a carpenter, here are some pieces of wood, go make me some tables and chairs. Or if a man happened to be a tailor and he was in debt, the moneylender would say, here's some cloth, make me a shirt. In Walter Hunt's case, he knew he was an inventor, so he said, here's a piece of wire and he gave him 20 centimetres of wire, he said, invent something useful out of that. Well, Walter Hunt had 24 hours to do it. So he stayed up all night, twisting it, bending it, doing all sorts of things with it. He took a very sharp knife and he sharpened one end. And then he took a hammer and on the other end, he flattened it out. And he did some more bending and twisting. And after four hours constant work, do you know what he came up with? This, the safety pin just as we know it today. Walter Hunt had invented the safety pin in four hours to keep himself out of jail. And you know as well as I do that today, we still use them in all sizes, all shapes, but still they're basically the same shape as the one invented by Walter Hunt. So next time you use a safety pin, spare a thought for the man who invented it to repay his debt and keep himself out of jail. Walter Hunt.